Penny. I'm from the, the website hellopennydavis.com and also the Facebook group VIP Kid Teachers Wanted. I am a VIP Kid teacher. I've taught with them for almost three years, taught close to 3,000 classes, and I've also helped over 600 teachers get hired by VIP Kid. So I'm really familiar with the hiring process and I can help you through that. Um, this is actually the, the second um, video in the series about the mock classes. It's an updated video. I've made videos on the mock classes before, but it, this was just time to do an update on it um, as I've seen a lot of changes that they're making. So this one is for the level, the, the B lesson in the lower level of the mock class. So if you haven't already watched it, you need to go back and watch this video that is um, for the the lesson A in the mock class. This one is for the lesson B, and I want you to definitely go back and watch that lesson A uh, uh, that lesson A video for it. Also go back and watch the video that I have up on uh, the big three TPR and IPAED that talks a lot about the, the the teaching style and exactly what they're looking for in that teaching style. So be sure and go watch those two videos or the stuff I'm going to say here isn't going to make sense. Okay. Now, if you have not applied for VIP Kid, I would appreciate you using my link. It's going to be down here in the uh, description on YouTube. Um, but if you've already applied, you didn't use a, high, a a referral code or link, it's too late if you're in the certification stage. It's too late to add my code. But if you if you want my help, and I would love to help you through it and give you access to my insider secrets that are maybe not in this video, uh, if you would like uh, that help with it uh, start a new account just um, log out of VIP kid clear your browser history start a new account a new application using my link below and use a different email address than you did before and just start a whole new application using my link so that I can help you through that process I'd love to help you with that if you have uh, questions on that on how to add me as your referral see the description here on YouTube or you can email me at teacherpennyvipkid at gmail.com. Now, on to the lesson. I cannot show you the slides. That would be proprietary information of VIP Kids, so I can't show you the slides. So I recommend have the video open here and have, turn up, phone, quit doing that. Don't you love it when your phone starts, um, you know, you know, beeping at you right in the middle of something? Come on, leave me alone now. Turn that down. Okay, good. Okay, so, um, have the video open here and have the slides open here. If you are looking for the slides, you can find them on the portal. Uh, if you look, um, if you're in that certification center stage, if you look all the way down at the bottom of your page on the VIP Kid website, you will see where it says download the slides, or you can also see them on my website. Um, on my website, on the far right side, you will see uh, uh, free downloadable resources resources okay so if you'll go and uh, download those slides so that you can follow along with me uh, I'll be talking about what's on the slides I just can't show them on here okay so um you are when you take this mock class you're going to be doing the setup this time with a VIP kid teacher and um, you're they're they're called mock mentors and they're gonna make mistakes and they're gonna to try to do things to, to kind of see if you're paying attention and to see if you can correct them remember that a big part of what we do is correcting those answers and getting complete sentences getting complete grammar all of that stuff that's all covered in that big three video that, that I just talked about earlier okay but you're gonna start teaching this lesson uh, if you watch the a video the um, the introduction that you do with your student and the reward system that you do with your student, student are going to be the exact same okay as they were in the a lesson so hello hi my name is teacher penny what's your name jeremy hi jeremy my name is jeremy yay good job how old are you jeremy Five? I'm five years old. Yay! Good job, Jeremy. My toys. 
Okay. Now this is where I would be circling the words my toys with my mouse. I'm going to circle it with my mouse, but then I do this motion for um, for them to circle it as well. Okay. Then you go to the next slide. The next slide is the reward system. And as I explained in the A one, you want to use a reward system that is also an extension of the lesson. So I'm going to use toys again as my reward here. I have I have several different toys over here, and I'm going to use those toys as uh, as the reward system so that I can incorporate them into the lesson as we go along. Okay. So you would, but you're still going to use this slide. You're going to use where did my car go my car is missing okay all right you're still going to use this slide to teach them how to drag and drop so while you're you, when you get to this slide you would say "Ooh, yay toys and get them to say toys back to you okay drag and drop a toy drag and drop so while you're dragging one of those toys down to the shopping cart you're showing this motion Okay, and you're saying drag and drop a toy. They specifically want you to use this motion. They want you to say drag and drop. Okay, drag and drop a toy. Yay! Get them to drag at least one toy and then introduce your own reward system. Yay! Good job! You get a frisbee. Ooh, it is a frisbee. Yay! Get them to say, since we haven't said a complete sentence on this page yet, use your reward system to get a complete sentence. It is a frisbee. I like frisbees. I throw frisbees because we know here in this B lesson, they learned the sentence, I throw a ball in the previous lesson. So you could use that here. I throw a frisbee. You want to use a simple sentence. Just get them to say it back. You don't have to do the question and answer thing with it or anything, but just get them to say that sentence back to you. Okay. If you've already used a complete sentence on that slide, you don't have to get the sentence. You can just have them say the word. Remember, they do have to say the word in order for it to count as extension. So whatever you're, t you're using, Make sure that you get them to that you get them to say the word for it to count. Okay, so you've taught them drag and drop. Then you introduce your own reward system. If you do a good job, you get a toy, Ooh, a frisbee. It is a frisbee, and you're getting them to repeat back to you, frisbee. It is a frisbee. You're getting them to repeat those words back to you. Okay. Yay. Great job. Yay. Now you go to this slide. This is uh, the, the I slide. This is where we are introducing the new vocabulary words, kite and doll. So you've got two words here that you are introducing to your student and you have to introduce each word separately. Sorry, I'm getting my Megan mic over here. Okay, so you have to introduce each word separately and get them to say the word back to you. If you remember, this is where we're using the formula. You say the word two times, you have them circle something, then you say the sentence one or two times, just depends on what your mock mentor does. If they say that sentence back to you perfectly without you having to make any corrections, move on. You don't have to repeat that again. Okay. But if you need to correct them, then do the sentence again. Then you're going to ask a question. It's going to be a very simple question, but you're going to phrase the question in such a way that you're getting the answer that you just taught them. So in this case, we're teaching the word kite and the sentence is, I fly my kite. Now, the only question that really works with that is what do I fly? Okay, it's kind of an awkward question, but it's the only thing that really works with this sentence, okay? So you're going to use, what do I fly? That question is nowhere in the lesson. Some of the other times we see the question on a later slide, but on this one, we don't see that question anywhere. So you have to make up your own question. What do I fly? And then with doll, we're going to just use it real simple. What is this? Okay. Cause the, the, the sentence is, this is my doll. So we're going to use, what is this? I'm going to start with circling the word kite and I want to use TPR first before I show a prop, I want to use TPR. So you 
put your hands together like a diamond shape and just kind of gently move it around. Just do it a little bit here because we're going to do big in a little bit for fly. Okay, so kite. Kite. Yes. I fly my kite. Yay, circle. I fly my kite. Yes, what do I fly? Yay, good job. <gasps> Doll. Doll. Circle the doll. This is my doll. What is this? This is my doll. Yay, good job. That's all you have to do there. We're not extending any yet. On the I slides, we don't do extension. We do the extension on the next two types of slides, the P slide and the A slide. Now look up in the top corner of the next slide and you see P vocabulary and then notice below it, it says draw a line. We want our students to draw a line on this one, but remember whenever you want them to do something like circling or dragging or whatever it is you want them to do, you have to show them how to do that. This is the first time we've seen draw a line in these mock class lessons, okay? So you're going to, you're going to draw the have them draw the line from the word at the top of the page down to the blank at the bottom but we're going to start here this is a P slide this is practice where we are practicing this question and answer you always with a P slide and with the A slides always start with the question do not start with the answer Okay, start with the question. So you would circle the picture of the girl with the with the kite, and maybe you hold up the kite, and you hold up the picture of Meg, so you're showing a girl with a kite, okay? So you circle it. We have to change our question just slightly for the different pronoun, okay? But you're going to say, what does she fly, okay? So you circle the girl with the, with the kite, and you say, what does she fly? and you get them to answer, she flies a kite. You might need to help them with that, okay? So down at the bottom of the page, it has the words, she flies a, and then blank, okay? So you're tr getting them to say the answer, she flies a kite, then draw, or draw a line, and you draw that first line. Draw a line, kite, yes, she flies a kite. Good. Circle the doll, okay? Mm, what is this? Yes, this is her doll. And circle or underline that her, because it's different. On the previous slide, it was this is my doll. Now we're getting this is her doll. So maybe you're going to hold up Meg here again to help them see this is her <clears throat> doll. But start with the question. This, What is this? This is her doll. Okay, good. You might want to you know, do a little bit of an extension here just to just to get something. I will tell you there is a lot in this B lesson, so there's really not a lot of time for extension here. Okay, so you are going to make this very, very simple on this extension. We have just done what is this? This is her ball, or this is her doll. I think it would be good to you know, to give them a ball of some kind. Okay, they already know soccer ball, and they know basketball. They don't know baseball, so let's give them a baseball. Yay! Good, you get a baseball. This is her baseball. Yes, good job. You get a baseball. Woo! -hoo! Okay, so you're giving them that 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 extension, but you're you're that that reward, but you're also putting it into the sentence, into that same sentence that you've used all the way along. Okay, now go to the next slide, and this one I think is the easiest of all three of the slides, but it is the application slide. But remember, by this time, they should be able to answer these questions. They should be able to use these words in complete sentences. Don't help a lot. 
here, okay? Make them do the whole sentence, okay? So you're going to start, by the way, this is an interactive slide. The words kite and doll on the side can be drugged to those boxes in the center. So you circle the doll and say, what is it? And get them to give you that answer in a complete sentence. It is a kite. If they just say, if they just say doll, then you say, it is It is a doll. Yay! And get that complete sentence with it. Okay. Then you start, then drag doll. This time we've already taught them how to drag and drop. Remember back on that toy slide? So this time you're going to drag toy or drag the word doll part of the way and you get them to drag it the rest of the way. Okay. Then circle the, the kite. Okay. What is it? Yes. It is a kite. Yes, good. Forget that anytime you want to do an extension, it ha you have to accomplish whatever the purpose of the slide is first. The extension is the cherry on top. It is not the steak and potatoes and, and ice cream and all that stuff. It's just a teeny bit at the end, okay? All right, now we're moving to the word fly. Now I have my conjugation chart that I use this, this prop in a lot of my lessons. If we're doing anything with conjugation, and we do lots of stuff with conjugation, okay? I'm going to use my conjugation chart to help with this, to help them understand, do we need the word, the plan? plain verb or do we need the version with the s on the end so you start this one by circling the word fly on the page okay we're back to i so we're using that same formula again the word two times circle something the sentence and then ask a question but this time we've got we've got two words fly and flies that we have to teach okay so you start with fly okay fly fly Yes, good. I fly a kite. I fly a kite. Good. Who flies a kite? I fly a kite. Yay. Circle. I fly a kite. Yes. Now you have to ask the question after each one of these sentences. So after you've practiced each sentence, you need to ask the question, who flies a kite? Now, we're, this is different than this, the question at the beginning. The question at the beginning was, what do I fly? Now you're changing the question. It's who flies a kite. You have to make that change with that. You can't use who flies a kite with, with the whole thing. Okay, now go over to the little boy and circle the word flies and point to it here on your board. Flies. Flies. He flies a kite. Who flies a kite? Yes. He flies a kite. Yes, good. My sister flies a kite. Who flies a kite? My sister flies a kite. Yay, good. So you've gotten uh, all three of those, but you have to ask the question for each one. If you practice all three sentences, I fly a kite, he flies a kite, she flies a kite, and then said who flies a kite, they wouldn't know which answer to give you. Okay, so make sure that you are getting them to, that you're asking the question after you've practiced each sentence in there, okay? Time for a reward, okay? So we've just taught I fly a kite. Let's change that just a little bit and say, ooh, you get an airplane. I fly a plane. Okay, use plane, not airplane, okay? I fly a plane. Yeah. Who flies a plane? Yay, I fly a plane. You could use a paper airplane. Works well, well, well right? That works fine, okay? All right, move on to the next slide. This one is very similar to the slide that we had in the A lesson that had throw and throws at the top of the page. The words fly and fly over, fly and flies 
on the side, the left side of the page can be drug over to the blanks in the sentences. There are two copies of fly. There are two copies of flies. You are helping them to choose the correct form of the verb to go into these sentences. However, this is a practice slide. So we again are going to start with the question and don't, we've already shown that, that, that conjugation chart. We've already shown that once. Okay. This time don't show it unless they need help. Okay. If they need, if they give you the wrong answer, if they say she fly a kite, then you can hold up the chart and help them with it. Okay. But if they give you the correct answer, then they don't need that. Remember, we're trying to move them where they are using their, that we're helping them less and less. Okay. So circle the she, okay, on the page, maybe hold up your, your, your prop and ask the question, who flies a kite? She flies a kite. Drag. She flies a kite. Yay! You drag the first one part of the way. To, it's not real obvious that those words can be moved. Okay? But you drag the first one part of the way and then get them to drag it the rest of the way. Okay? Then you circle the words they. Okay? You say, hmm, who flies a kite? And they answer, they flies a kite. If they give you the wrong answer, you go, hmm, they fly or they flies? Yes, they fly a kite. Yay, good. I, hmm, who flies a kite? I fly a kite. Yes, drag. I fly. Okay. Yay! Great job. That might be a good place to use the plane. Okay, because we just said, I fly a kite. You can change it to, ooh, yay! Good job. You get a plane. I fly a plane. Yay! And get them to repeat that sentence with you. Okay. Great job. On you go. Now, this one, this is the apply slide, and it's kind of weird. Um, these are actually audio clips. So you see the circles with the triangles in them? Those are audio clips with the, uh, with, they have a voice, a child's voice. That the first one says, she flies a kite. The second one says, he flies a kite. The third one says, I fly a kite. They are supposed to listen to the audio clip and drag the picture from the bottom up to the top and put it into the square at the top. Now, you have to demonstrate the drag and drop part of that. But here is the big thing on this. Remember that one of the big three is that they have to speak on every slide. Well, it would be very easy for them to just drag the picture and never say a word. And your mock mentor is going to probably try that. They're going to try to drag the pictures but never say anything. So you make sure that you get them to speak. The way you do this, circle that, circle the circle, okay, that has the, the, the first place thing in it. Okay, you're the only one that can click play, by the way. Okay, so you circle it and you say, listen, because they know, they know the word listen, okay? Listen. And you play it, and it says, she flies a kite. And then you ask the question, who flies a kite? And get them to say the answer, she flies a kite. Yes, good. Drag, you show them how. Drag, she flies a kite. Yes, good. Listen, he flies a kite. Who flies a kite? He flies a kite. Drag, he flies a kite. Listen, I fly a kite. Who flies a kite? I fly a kite. Drag, I fly a kite. You get the idea there? Make sure that they speak. They have to speak on every single slide. They can to say those sentences, the complete sentences. So make sure that they speak on that. Okay, good. Now you move to the next slide, and this one is a back to I. We are back to doing uh, the, we're back to introducing something new, but this time we're introducing new sentences. The answer here is I throw a ball and specifically, yes, I throw a ball. Now we taught that in the A lesson, but in that lesson, it was who throws. The question that we used was who throws. Now we're using a new question. Do you throw a ball? And we want them to give us the answer. Yes, I throw a ball. Now, um, with this one, yours, that formula that we taught, 
doesn't really fit here, but you are going to just review the answer briefly with them. So grab that baseball, okay, and, and just review the answer with them, okay? Yes. Jeremy, I throw a ball. Do you throw a ball? Yes or no? Yes, I, yes, I throw a ball. Yay! Now, do they know the word swing? They do not know the word swing. That was no, nowhere on that previous knowledge chart. So they do not know the word swing. We have to teach it to them, but it's not really a, a vocabulary word, so we're not going to spend a lot of time on it, okay? But this is what I have found. Because we're using swing as both a verb and a noun in this sentence, um, it's it really good to use that TPR and a little sing-songy voice, okay? So you circle the swing and you say, swing! Swing. I swing on a swing. I don't swing on a swing. Do you swing on a swing? Yes or no? Yes, I swing on a swing. Or if they say no, no, they're, if they say First off, it doesn't matter which answer they give me. If they give me yes or no, doesn't matter, okay, as long as it is grammatically correct. But we also want them to include the yes or the no at the beginning of the sentence. So make sure that you're getting that complete sentence. If they give you the no answer, I can almost guarantee they're going to say something like, no, I no throw a, or I no swing a swing, Okay. I not swing a swing. They're probably not going to give you, no, I don't swing on a swing. Absolutely, perfectly, grammatically correct. They're probably going to mess it up. Anytime they, they're doing, they know how to do negative answers, but they're not very good at them yet. Okay. So make sure that you are helping them. And if they give you the contraction, I don't, or I do not, either one is correct. Okay, we're teaching them at this point that it's it can, it can be either way. So whichever one they give you, as long as it's grammatically correct, go with it. Okay, so I, if they say I do not, I'm not going to correct that to I don't. Okay, that is still co grammatically correct. There, okay, so you say, do you swing on a swing? Yeah. Oh, no. <clears throat> no, I don't swing on a swing. Yay! Good job! You get a something. Give him a toy. Okay, <laughs> give him a, a Hot Wheel, whatever. You've said some a bunch of sentences here. You do not have to get a complete sentence here. Just uh, get them to say one word. Car. Okay. It, it you, know, you don't even have to do. It is a car. Good job! You get a car. Car. Move on. Okay, that's a three-second reward. You've got to get going through it, okay? All right, now the next page, where this has three pictures. We're going to ask, do you, and get either the answer yes, I, or no, I, okay? Again, doesn't matter which one they answer they give you here, just as long as it's in a complete sentence. So they can say yes on some, so no on some. They can say no to all of them. They can say yes to all of them. That's okay. Whatever they give you, the yes or no, that's correct. Just make sure it's grammatically correct and make sure it's a complete sentence with the yes or the no at the beginning. Okay, so you circle the first girl. Do uh, do you fly a kite? Use your props. Use your TPR. Okay. Do you fly a kite? Yes. Yay, good. Make sure you got that complete sentence. Do you throw a ball? Yes, I throw a ball. Good. Do you swing on a swing? No. No, I don't swing on a swing. Good. You're Again, you're going to have to help with that one. Great job. Now we got do you, yes, I. Now we go to the next slide, and this is do they. Okay, so we're asking, do they do it? So same thing, complete sentences with the yes or no. Do they fly a kite? Do they swing on a swing? Does he throw a ball? Yes, he throws a ball. Then circle the dog, okay, because you're forcing a no answer here. Does it throw a ball? 
Okay. Good. Listen carefully. Again, the negative thing. Okay. It does not. Okay. Not do. He do. Okay. It does not. That's different because we everything before that was I don't. Now it's he does not. That's difficult. They have a difficult time with that one. So make sure that you're getting the correct answer and you are getting it grammatically correct. Okay. So again, so use that one. Does it throw a ball? No, it does it. And I can almost guarantee it no throw a ball. Okay. But you're going to correct that with it. Great job. Okay. You get to the last slide. This is the extend slide. Most people run out of time about here. Okay. So you may not even get to this slide, but you're ready no matter what. You're going to ask some of the same type of questions. Questions. You're going to do some extension with it. Does she th fly a kite? Yes, she flies a kite. Circle the two kids behind the girl with the kite and go, run. Run. Do they run? Yes, they run. Does she throw a ball? Yes, she throws a ball. Does she throw a doll? <gasps> no, she does not throw a doll. Okay. Have fun with that. You can keep asking questions with that using all the vocabulary, all the verbs, everything you've taught throughout the lesson. Give yourself a, just a few seconds at the end just for one more reward system. Yay, you get ice cream. Woohoo. Ah, yeah. Good job. Bye bye, Jeremy. See you next time. And that's the end of the lesson. Okay, so um, I will tell you that most people run out of time. Uh, usually somewhere within those last couple of slides, um, there's a, just a ton, a ton of information in this one. It's also difficult to get extensions in this slide, in this lesson. That's why you've got to use the reward system to get the extensions. Okay, so use that. Again, they have to say the word for it to count as extension and they want five extensions throughout the lesson. So make sure that you are using new information, okay, new information, new words. So frisbee, plane, baseball, kite, uh, well, kite's not a new one, okay, but you are using that new information each time that you're helping them with that. So, okay, whatever toys you've got laying around the house, yo-yo, whatever, that's fine. Use those kind of toys and, to, to teach them these new words to count as the extension. Again, make sure that you're correcting them gently, positively. If they make a mistake, you correct it. If you make a mistake, okay, if you say something incorrectly, correct yourself. It's not the end of the world if you make a mistake because we all stumble over our words sometimes, but correct it. Okay. So don't try to say something like, you know, like, um, he throw ball. No, it's he throws a ball. Listen carefully for the S on the end of those, particularly on that slide that has the little boy and the dog. And you say, does he throw a ball? And that's listen carefully for he throws a ball that it has that S on it. That S is difficult to hear unless you are specifically listening for it. So make sure you're listening for that S there and you correct it is needed in it. Okay. So that's it. That's the B lesson. Thanks for watching this one. If you uh, have, again, if you have not used a referral code, uh, you can add my code to your link. Read down here in the description how to do that. Be sure and join my Facebook group, VIP Kid Teachers Wanted, for uh, more help and, and people there that answer your question. There's a lot of people in there that have already gone through the hiring process. They can answer your questions. And then once you pass your mock class and you're hired, join the group, VIP Kid Teachers Hired. That will one is specifically for those of us who have already been hired, gone through the process. And so if you've got questions about how to actually teach, uh, then that's a, a great place to go for those questions. All right. Thanks for watching today. Be sure and check out my website, hellopennydavis.com. Lots of information on there. Even if you're not my referral, there's still a lot of information on there uh, for you. And um, be sure and give me a like and a subscribe here on YouTube so that I can you can keep track of the new things that I put up here to help you through uh, your VIP kid, new job with VIP kid. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.